I'm Sophie. I'm Cameron. I'm Lauren. And we're going to be talking to you about inclusive practices in netball with a focus on students with hearing impairments. Every Australian should be able to participate in sport and physical activity in a welcoming and inclusive way. This can be implemented through the TREE framework model, which stands for the teaching style, rules, equipment and environment. This video will demonstrate with examples how the TREE model can be implemented. To create an inclusive environment, adapting our teaching styles based on our abilities of our participants allows for maximum understanding, effectiveness and engagement. These adaptations include Ask the student if they feel comfortable with the activities. I just want to make sure that you feel comfortable with what we're going to be doing. Um, if there are any questions you've had with anything that you don't understand? Or... No, I think we're all good. Cool. Just let me know if you have any issues and we'll try and do it. Avoid talking with your back to the students as this becomes disengaging. Instead, face the student and use physical movements to give instructions to ensure that they understand the task. Use props and diagrams to provide visual aid. Speak in a clear, loud voice at a normal tempo. All right guys, so when we're passing it down the court, make sure we're making eye contact with our teammate, making sure they're aware that we're passing it to them. Nice flat passes or bounce passes. Do not assume students know how to perform every drill. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some zigzags, just no dodging, pin points. Let's go. Instead, verbally and physically demonstrate the task. For most sports, the rules involved have been created and implemented based on participants without impairments. Adapting the rules for hearing impaired students allows for participants to play netball in a safe and easy environment. A lack of communication makes it difficult for hearing impaired players. Have students call the name of the person they are passing to. Cameron. Nice. Adapting equipment used by students and teachers in netball provides an equal playing field amongst all participants. Students may struggle to hear a single whistle. Use flags for visual cues and repetitive whistles. A bell ball or bright coloured ball assists with keeping track of the play. Providing the ideal environment can be essential to retaining students' attention and avoiding distractions. Resources permitting, Utilise indoor courts to minimise external noise and distraction. To recap, adapting your teaching style to include visual aids and physical demonstrations combined with clear instructions allows for all students to be included. Simplifying and implementing new rules can help suit all students' needs. Using eye-catching and loud equipment ensures students remain focused throughout the play. A quiet and safe environment allows for students to stay engaged.